Yo, yo, what is up, my dudes? Sam Kitsum here. Today, I'm going to show you how I made my track. You're up to something which was out the 15th of December. <laughs> Let's get right into it. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comments below. So, I start a track with the melody. Actually, the, the 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 track has a lot of arrangements here. Oh, not here, here, here. Yeah. So I yeah I had multiple ideas for. I was just messing around on FO Studio and just a little cooperation I had. <laughs> it's another another one. <laughs> but yeah, in the end, um, I I found that little melody. That's how I started the track. I actually found the melody and the conversion pretty simultaneously. But I'm gonna come on the sound design on this one later on. So, um, most of the time I start with the drop, so let's just start with the drop as well. Um, these are, this is the chord pattern. First of all, we have a little sub bass, um, which was made in Serum, oh yeah, it's the bass sub guitar. Uh, really nice. I love the, um, the little attack on the pitch on, on the um, on the sub. And this one has nothing, just a compression. Because um, it was having a lot of movement, so I was like, let's add some compression. Uh, this one is mute. This one is a little uh, piano layer. It's really it's really not loud in volume, just for more uh, texture. This is the same chord I use in Someone to Understand um, that I call Starbucks because I made it in Starbucks. So, layer, layer, just some layers, you know, just sign plug. Oh, it's kind of the same, just a pitch down. This is again pretty much the same. Yeah, you don't really, you don't really hear those. They're really low in volume, not really present. Just add some some little shiny texture to the to the chords. But yeah, together it sounds like this. Um, on the effects, it was also really not not that complicated. Just OTT, sound goodizer, and EQ basic just to cut the lows and boost a bit of the highs. All I did. Um, and uh, once I had this. You know, I I, 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 I explain it like that as if I came on the core, uh, on the core progression and on the melody, like in an instance. As you saw, we took like three arrangements to, to actually find a great core progression that I was satisfied with. So once I had this, um, yeah, I, I actually the story of the the um, the lead melody was that I was looking for, I was humming uh, notes. As I was, as I heard this, I was start to, to sing, let me saw you, da, 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 da. I really start to sing no, like a real words, you know, <laughs> but since I, I can't really write and I, I wasn't um, in, a, in a disposition to work with a singer, I just wrote the melody, the, 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 the voice melody as like a lead melody, like a synth synthesizer melody. And um, yeah, in the end, yeah, I used a, a music box sounds. But that's how I came on the melody. Just I was, I pretty naturally began to sing a melody, but with words on, on top of my head uh, when I was hearing that that cooperation. So, and I really love the melody. Um, so for the top melody, as you see, it's just a music box from M1. I use this sound a lot, so if you listen to my tracks, you recognize it. Um, layer, music box, but this one, and the uh, vibes, yeah, that's the vibes, uh, also like this, just one octave, uh, higher and lower, 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 so, um, as you see, you don't, I don't really have a, a, bit, a strong mid bass going on, um, I don't feel like it was necessary, maybe it is, but I don't feel, I don't, I didn't really hear it, that it was necessary, so yeah, when you add some the kick, it's the same kick as hanging on. Oh. 
sai um tiro. There you go. Now, to that, I played a lot with some percussions um, because I want to add a lot of groove to the music with some perks. So that took also some time. Um, yeah, in the end, I, I'm not sure you're all. You can always be like it can, it can always be better, and I don't think I'll ever be 100% satisfied. But in the end, I just added these and um, like and um, it's there are some drums that I that I, that I sampled from um, a Vin the One Two track. Uh, Vin is a producer that I really look up to. <laughs> I listen to a lot of his music. This is also um, a sample that I sampled from uh, his, the Vince track High and Low. <laughs> there you go. Um, added some uh, crowd effects. Don't really hear it. And lights, uh, down lifters. This is, I don't know, not, 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 wasn't units. Summer perks. You basically have it if you, as you see. And um, so for the intro, pads. Pad is from. Pad is from. First layer is a silent one. High layer. High also high layer. Don't know why it's there, but it's there. This is this one, yeah. You don't really hear it, uh, but actually, you, you do hear it. It's it's a nice ambient thing where I, I automated the pitch bends. I think it's. I think it sounds really good. Um, so you can automate the pitch bends of your serum. It was a silent one. That was a silent one. So you can actually uh, touch this knob, and then when you click here on FL Studio, and then right click, create an automation clip, it will. You can do pretty much. You can you can automate any anything, like it will trigger the thing that you touched last. So if you touch the pitch bend last, you can create an automation clip of it. So that's why that's what I'm here. Um, yeah, it's really e no no not really so complicated. Uh, as soon as as I find the idea, I just keep working on track until it's pretty much finished. Uh, this is some some slice some slice vocals. <laughs> Vocal hook female loop move verse dry D major. Up to um. So another layer. Here I add. Uh, oh, excuse me. Some lower layer. Another layer. It's too much layers. Oh no, it's the same. It's the same as the other one. These are uh, 80s keys. <laughs> also, as a layer. Also, added a sub. You hear it? I don't know where it is, but it is. It's here. Some piano. They were good. Already introduced the melody here. Made an automation reverb of the vocals. Like um, this one, so really like so it becomes really far away. Some chimes, big use. I'm a big user of, of chimes, <laughs> and yeah, that's just affixes. I'm not gonna show affixes. So as you see, again, it's once I have the idea, it becomes really simple. Just pads, the top melody, vocals, and then new pads, top melody, vocals. What's here? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Um, that sound is from. Yeah, I don't know which sound it is, but I I think maybe f from Serum. I just export it and then um, yeah, reverse it and did a little did a little uh, panning automation to add some more ambience. And now free drop. This is a the first chord that I I put um, 
a glitch on it. It's a it's, it, this plugin. I can show you it. Um, this here. I I actually pre played it really randomly and and um I recorded on Edison the 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 chords being played through glitch. So it was really like weird, like like it was really weird. And I just found a part that was interesting and it was this one. I hope you understood. <laughs> if you didn't, just feel free to ask me. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ah, yeah, it's a nice mm, And now, yeah, we have a bunch of fix in the drop. Nothing too crazy. For a sudden break, I start with this. Is a um the um the the all the all the drop scenes together. So this this. that I exported and put in a slicer and made a little loop with it. I do that a lot in my tracks, I should actually maybe innovate. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, the melody of the slice, I re-added the vocals, sirens, some aliens, symbol effects. This is a... Oh man, sorry. This is a... Um, I think it was like the vocal where I put it, um, a, a freak convolver on it. So if you if you add this preset of the 3D convolver, the pink white or the, the blur pink or the blur white, it's a really it becomes a really nice ambient thing. So I did that with those vocals, add a little patcher, a little of patcher to create a little um, volume variation. For patcher, you go here, patcher, presets, and it's a preset humanizer. Then you, you have the pitch variation, the volume variation. I use a lot of the volume variation. It's for the ambience, and then yeah. What's, what's here? Oh yeah, just a little layer. Then I cut the, the, the vocal, the sample from the vocals. I, I mean, I, cut, I did some slices of the vocal. Chimes once again. Here I activated sidechain, added some some kick clap, kick, kick heads. I mean, yeah, here's a snap. Now for the second uh, build up. Nothing changed a lot, except that I added a little top melody, another one. Same ambient vocals. Same uh, uplifters. And uh, yeah, then we have the job. And here nothing changes in the job. Nothing I added something more specifically. No, nothing changed. Maybe this one here. This is the same thing in uh, Silent 1. And I automated the pitch like doo -doo 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 -doo. really love how it sounds. Another outro. Same chords and I added a little, a little a small Oh it's not even rooted rather in a in a mixer track, it's just on a sidechain. So for the outro. Um, that was it concerning the mixing maybe of the vocals. Uh, what was it? 13. Compression, auto-tune that's off. Um, DSR as usual, as usual. Low cuts. S a little small reverb, that's all I did actually in the, the... That's pretty much it actually. There is compression, DSR, EQ and reverb. The rest is not activated. So... Yeah, it's really not really easy and the same <laughs> master chain as, as usual. Just um, a, a preset from Ozone 9. So um, I start my tracks always with Ozone 9 on my master. So so I have directly a great idea of like how loud it could sound. And um, yeah, so yeah, once again, if you have 
questions just let me know if you want a preset or anything just ask me i can send you everything and um thanks a lot for watching the video if you have any questions <laughs> i've told five times um comment down below and uh, i'll be glad to see you in another video peace